Hi everybody, it's Stuilis, uh Kiwi Scrapper from New Zealand. Uh, just here to show you a project I've been working on for myself. Um, I've been doing a few challenges um, recently, so um, I finally decided that um, I'd do something for our own home, which uh, I haven't done for a little while. And as I say, I've been busy with, with um, completing projects for challenges. So I had um, I had a welcome sign that was um, in the colours of sort of a um, a lemony cream colour with um, burgundy. Um, I bought it years ago, and it was in the shape of a bird's house, and it had welcome on it. And um, I actually never ever hung it. Um, I have had some other welcome signs hanging around different parts of my house, um, but for some reason I just didn't like the colours on this one, and it it didn't gel with me. Um, I must have liked it when I bought it. I think I bought it second hand. In fact, yes, I'm sure I did. I bought it from an op shop um, some years ago, but I've never used it. So instead of throwing it out or giving it back to the op shop, I decided it was um, I could do something with it. Um, this is in this lovely trim. I got this off, um, I think, one of the Etsy shops. Pretty, isn't it? It's got nothing to do with this challenge, but it gives you something to look at. So, without further ado, as I'm fond of saying, here is my altered. Um, I don't know whether that's all going to get going to get in the whole frame. My altered bird's house. Well, it's actually not a bird's house. It's a bird house welcome sign. So originally, um, around here, where well this was all burgundy, um, this actually said welcome. And I think over here these were in burgundy and the rest of it was sort of a yellowy, lemony colour. Um, sorry, the cat fur there. Um, so the first thing I did, obviously, was get rid of the horrible colours. And um, I did two or three layers of um, gesso all over it. Um, I didn't do the back. Actually, I'll show you the back. I've done nothing with the back because it's, it's going to sit up flat against a wall. So, um, well, that that bit there has been gesso. This was the uh, sort of um, original colour of the majority of this thing, sort of this lemony, creamy colour. But there's no point in wasting gesso. It's expensive stuff. Well, it certainly is in New Zealand. Twenty dollars for just a little tiny. Well, no, I say a little pot. Um, yeah, there it is. That pot there of gesso, white gesso, cost over twenty dollars. So, it's you know I'm not going to waste it painting up the back of it, which is never going to be seen. After I'd um, put two or three layers of gesso on enough to cover it sufficiently to get rid of the other burgundy colour, um, I painted these little hearts here, wooden hearts, in pink, and that is the. Um, Pink lemonade. I just love that love that name. So that's acrylic paint, pink lemonade. Just those three there. Um, and then I started doing the actual altering. Oh no, I beg your pardon, I painted the two little hearts up here in, in the pink lemonade as well. I think I put just one coat on those, may have been two. So the first thing I did actually was add the pink heart bling on those two. And there it is just to um, emphasise the shape of the heart. Uh, the next thing I did, I put this vintage trim on. I've used this on a project I did for a challenge for um, Heather, which was a, uh, a birthday challenge just very recently. Um, it was the last piece I had left of it, I think. I think it is. It's 1950s, beautiful, soft um, nylon trim with, and there's this p um, lace flowers running all the way down. So I decided to use that. So I put it right up to the point of the roof down there. These are large flat back pearls on that, all the way up to there. Um, I then put these two gorgeous sparkly um, Prima flowers on either side. They're absolutely gorgeous. I, I got them off an Etsy shop recently and I've been dying to use them. I think I've got one maybe, yeah, I think I've got one left, I hope. 
Um, I then used one of these appliques I've, which were very cheaply bought from a um, op shop, um, dollar ninety nine for a bag of oh, I don't even know how many were in that bag, lots and lots and lots, which was just an amazing buy. Um, so it's like that layer with an in inside layer, just beautiful. And um, inside of that, I put a little pink. Um, it's a fabric flower, and I got that off an old straw, um, 1990, 1980 straw doll hat. It had all these, um, these color, this color, and lilac in the same flower, all glued all over the, all over this hat. And the hat was horrible, so um, I just. I bought it and I and I took all these off it, and I placed a. Um, they had no centres, so I just placed a little pearl in there. Um, up here, I've put um, a very very delicate um, pale shell pink lace, and I'm pretty sure I got that off one of the Etsy shops. Um, it's just beautiful, very very delicate. You can, it's an insertion lace, so you actually, through those little holes, you could put a ribbon. But that would take away the, you know, the delicateness of it, I think, so I wouldn't do that. But here it's got these little tiny sort of fanned out shapes as well. It's just beautiful. And the colour of that very, very, very pale shell pink, just gorgeous. But you can see it is the pink in contrast. Well, I hope you can pick that up. So that was an ideal shape for putting along there. Uh, the next thing I did was... I glued um, pink flat back pearls, which are smaller than these flat backs. Um, it's always tricky trying to glue these things in circles, I find. I get glue all over me and just absolute glue everywhere. Uh, I came down to this place, to down here. Um, I didn't quite know what to do with this area. This, this is a little tiny little perch, um, probably about just over half an inch it's well between half maybe three quarters of an inch um, so I glued the pink organza ribbon on that that I got off eBay UK some years ago with a little pink satin squashed bow, um, rose in the middle rolled rose um, this was all bare and I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do with it so I came down here and I used I'm pretty sure the the remainder of this vintage fabric um, vintage, not fabric, vintage trim, and I put it all across down there, and down the sides, and covered that with the um, the pink flat back pearls, the same as this one. I had a very pretty um, trim down the bottom here, um, which I got from. Um, it's a shop in my hometown, which is about two and a half hours drive from here, called Napier. I'm pretty sure they get them from maybe China or something. I don't know. Um, anyway, I bought that. It's it's in it's in a beautiful um, sort of a peppermint, pale, sagey green, vintage green and pink. And it's just roses all the way along there. Beautiful, beautiful trim. I bought that probably about two years ago to do a doll's dress, and this was what was left over, I think. So I kept it in my stash. Um, these here are just cut off a, um, a vintage doily, probably about 1950 doilies, 1940s. Um, they're in a lovely sort of, um, I don't know, acro colour, I think that's what they call it. Um, Talk, whatever you want to call it. Over top I put um, these um, flowers from a bunch of flowers that I got from a, an op shop some time ago. I just pulled them off the things, took the plastic centres out of each one, and then I layered each one of these. It was just a single layer, so I layered them so that their petals were um, filling up the spaces of the bottom layer. Um, two of those, two layers each, um, and then I put a little bit of felt on the back, and then I put a glued them together and put these two little clear pink glass buttons, which I found to my delight in amongst all my stuff where I make dolls, well I was used to make dolls clothes so or babies dresses, I can't remember which they were for but anyway I was delighted to find them they've got shanks on them but it doesn't matter because the flower's deep enough so they were put into those and they, for me they look very pretty they just finished that off nicely um, 
well that's basically what I did on that bit there so I came back over here I'd already put the pink parts on um, I bought these um, trims in a strip um, I bought several different ones um, I can't go over and get them because I'd have to clamber over a, a rocking horse that my son painted for me recently and lots of other stuff to reach my drawers um, to show you but it was in a long strip probably about 16 inches 18 inches long um, I bought several different ones they were $1.50 each from a craft shop they're kind of like on clear I don't know what you'd call that it's I suppose hard plastic, something like that, I'm not sure what it is. But anyway, they're, they're lovely, they've got glitter in them, they've got birds, it's blossom. I cut this one up so that I could get the curve in it. As you can see, it's it's um, it's um it's rather lovely. And it's got a bird on that side as well. And I extended it over the edge here so that it would, um, you know, the branch was sort of just going off the edge. And I thought that fitted the bill up there very, very nicely. Um, I hope you agree with that bit. If you don't, you can always tell me in my comments, but tell me nicely. Um, and this is, again, was came with this. There were several different appliques in that packet of probably about 100 appliques for $1.99. Um, so that was just one of those, and that fitted up there. That's the hook. I've, only just, I've just left that. I might actually attach some lace or satin ribbon to hang it from. That would be quite nice. Um, so that's it. That's my shabby chic, um, altered welcome sign, birdhouse welcome sign. Um, I think it's a vast improvement on what it was when I bought it. A vast improvement. Um, oh, just the last thing I did, I just did a few minutes before starting this video, was a couple of pink um, heart-shaped pearls, flat back pearls there. These are sort of irregular hearts so, so I've slanted them to meet the point points in its point and um, and there we have it I hope you like it it was a lot of fun to do actually um, to take something that I thought was quite repulsive really <laughs> I don't know why I bought it in the first place but you see it's it's worked out very well because it looks it looks um, very pretty well I think it looks very pretty and I and I will be hanging that finally in my house somewhere. Um, okay, well, um, if you're not a subby, um, I hope you'd like to subscribe and see more of my work, because um, I'm only new on YouTube. And um, you know, if you like this, um, I really would appreciate you know if you did a comment, that would be great. I know people you know watch and they don't do comments, but it it, it is nice. It's it to get feedback on your work is always great. So there you go. I hope you like it. See you again soon. Bye.